Episode 14, The House with the Wisteria Family Crest. But first, we gotta rescue sweet boys and Itsu. Yeah, well, he didn't need a sword at all. Though I have your attention now. Yeah, but I, I also dabble in human slaying. Human stomping, at least. But we're gonna get the same treatment for Boar Dude we just got for Zenitsu. Just wait. Wait for his warmth. Wait for his redeeming qualities. Besides abs. He's already got that redeeming quality. But you just spoke his language. The language of broken ribs. Immediate respect. Well, after this fisticuffs <laughs> encounter. <laughs> That can of worms has long been opened. That was unbelievably extravagant. Nothing much happened. There's a lot of spinning for Tanjiro to end up on his feet. He simply got that wild fighting style to match the personality. It reminds me of uh, Samurai Shampoo a little bit. As usual for the show. This fight is really well done. Guarding my nuts? Oh. That too. Well, you gotta guard your nuts against four-legged beasts. <laughs> this is fighting four-legged beasts 101. Guard your nuts. Uh. I'm impressive. <laughs> Thank you for showing us that. His anime running though. A 10 out of 10. It's been established. Tanjiro has a very hard head, but whose head is harder? We can see his face. What? No. Wait, what? Oh, he's just... He's just really beautiful. I was about to say, he's been like... Or she's been topless this whole time? That, yeah, no. Some people just have it all. Abs, pretty faces. Why, why are you resisting? It's not a bad thing. The voice, though, does not match. There's no time for spelling. Yeah. You think I need to spell with abs like this? <laughs> yeah, his head is like its own blood art. Just having a thick skull. It's one of his many gifts. Hard-headedness. It's a metaphor. See, but it's true... True hardness, if that makes sense. That was like a test of hard-headedness in the sense of, like, rashness and stubbornness and brute force versus the hard-headedness of steadfastness and reliability. <laughs> That's our Tanjiro. He's got a head you can trust. He does have really pretty eyes. Tone it down just a... Notch for a second. The energy in this group. Seems a little high maintenance, but once he joins the crew, that is a great way to make him do it. Yeah, exactly. Tell him he can't do something or can't measure up physically. I like how post concussion is leading with his head still, for all things. I knew it. No time. There's no time. I feel like in real life, if you're a Tanjiro or like anyone in this field of work, you just learn to hate the birds. Like you just can't stand them. This thing again. Like I literally just finished this task. Can I just have five minutes to mourn for these dead characters that I never really had a chance to get attached to? Like I'm sure most people in this profession feel the same way about his cawing that I do about my morning alarm clock. Absolute disgust. You kids can go now. <laughs> We've, you've served your purpose. Does he not have his own bird friend, friend companion? There's another battle to be had. Bet you can't follow us down the mountain because you're so weak with your little weak legs. <laughs> Heart on sleeve. He gets attached really easily. It's the second time he's like begged. What did he just drop in his hands? No thank you. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. It smells like Wisteria and some other bird liquid. Oh my god, this guy is me. This guy is me with names. 
I like relate 100%. Really? Don't leave me on. Wow, that... Wow! <gasps> he does care. I'll peck your eyes right out. It's Agatha, the ghost trainer. <laughs> Imagine saying that to like a grandmother. But grandma can kick ass though. <laughs> the eyes are still bugging me out. <laughs> it is weird how like he's so cute. Tanjiro, like, just the amount of noise he has to put up with on a daily basis. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun. Never a dull moment. Yeah. Not a huge shock. Huh? He's right. Not just in the food thing, but the fact that looking beyond the I want to fight everyone thing with poor dude, he joined really quickly without any questions asked. Not hard to imagine him just being exceedingly lonely. This has been a recurring theme in my life, especially recently. There are definitely varying degrees of how social people are and how much time they would like to spend with others. There's almost no variance in my experience in just the fact that people need other people like the biggest introverts also experience the greatest depths of loneliness like everyone else which is often responsible for these very moments of extreme social gravity where it's like the first thing that comes along that is inviting it's a powerful force suddenly you're on an adventure i owe a lot of the events in my life over the last year to corona and the fact that i isolated myself for about a year those things if not properly addressed they will consume you <laughs> I have so many questions that that raised. He just did it for, for kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like they have very different mountain lives. Yeah, that's a big one. The box. The box. The box. The box. The box. Even Inosuke is quiet. Tanjiro catching up to where we were from last episode. He can say the same thing about his ears, birds of a feather. <laughs> and also for breaking up my engagement. We haven't seen her for, for quite a bit. She's got that plot sleepiness. If it's not one of them, it's the other. My god. I guess Tanjiro is sort of a, uh, what would you call it? A fruits basket like giver in his own right. You can't really take from the guy, you know what I mean? I feel like seeing her face will change things for them. He's not expecting the kawaii. You could have stood up a little bit less creepily though. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you too, huh? Uh, oh, have you? Have you been thinking? Why did you tell me sooner that you had a hot sister? <laughs> Should have been the first thing out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works for Tanjiro, but alright. That would be humili humiliating to find out that the whole time you were a third wheel. It's a little none of that. I feel bad for Agatha. Yeah, it's definitely lively. So this feels like a really key turning point. It feels like the end of the beginning, if you know what I mean. Like, there's... No doubt that we're a crew. Our social links have initiated. We're all sort of on the same page in that we're all ridiculous people, but are on the same demon slaying path. And it's not hard to see how they all complement themselves really well with Tanjiro as this emotional anchor. In that way, it feels like Tanjiro is sort of already largely where he needs to be. He's sort of just this good kid and that he will sort of provide the backbone for the growth of the other characters around him. And I think that is going to be really fun to watch, especially in the ways that they differ. And so now that we've assembled and actually gotten some rest, amazingly, what is our first mission as a, as a foursome? Oh, this is different. Different music. What is this, a fanfic? Oh, 
I'm so confused. <laughs> it was not a fun Taisho fact or secret. That was just epic confusion. Who was that guy? Is that what we're doing? Are we doing more training?